If I was to ask you, what does it mean to worship God for you? Most Christians might say, oh, it's when I sing with others on Sunday at church service, or when I sing to God by myself. And yet we know scripturally, worshiping is way more than just singing. We're supposed to worship God with our lives. But most Christians do have a hard time defining it outside the realm of singing. So, if we can't define what it means to worship God, how do we know we're worshiping God correctly? Or, in the purpose of this video, how do we know we're not worshiping something else that's not godly? Keep watching. I'm going to talk about a very important topic. We become what we worship, why it matters, and what we can do about it. Hi, my name is Sean Summerkamp, and this is Motivation Ear Christian Coaching. So before I get started, I want to let you know that I did a 90-minute video about this um, for those of you who are members, where up to 50 disciples from all across the globe kind of weigh in on this very important topic. Go become a member and you can access that video. This is a super short, condensed version of it. But the idea of worship really in a very simple state of mind is what we honor and glorify. If we honor and glorify something, it means we worship it. So what does it mean ultimately to honor and glorify? A great way to look at it is what we think about, what we talk about, what we share a lot with others, what we kind of praise or talk up or get really pumped about. That is what it means to honor and glorify something. Use that definition to think about what it is that you worship <laughs> Throughout the week, right now it's football season in America. People really praise, glorify, share, talk about, get excited about football. That is a form of worship. If you look at an actual game, all those people in the stands screaming in unison, that is worship. Some people think, talk, share about, praise, music. That is really what a concert is. Concerts are like religious events. People go and kind of put their hands up and sing together and sway and they get in kind of this euphoric state. We are worshiping music or the band, the artists when we're doing that. When it comes to our career, the thing that we really can worship a lot is money. We end up talking about money a lot in very kind of shrouded ways. We can talk about, we can praise, honor, and glorify, kind of worship our esteem, what we're aspiring to, where we're always talking about the best way to grow our career, where we're always thinking about the best way to leverage income, the best way to get a better pro profit. And that, to me, be thin ice. It can be dangerous if we're really making that the focus of our life. Yes, as an executive coach, I really can and do coach people on how to be excellent in their career, how to focus in a way that really does improve our outcomes, accelerates our growth. But that's not what the focus is, per se. The focus is always God. We know we have something much better waiting for us in heaven. What we have here on earth is temporary. It's flawed. If we make the focus, if we make our worship about money, we'll find ourselves talking about it all the time, sharing with others tips about how to make more money or be better at making money, and ultimately we become greedy. When we focus on our prestige, how we look, our job titles, how we come across to everybody all the time, we're worshiping ourselves and we become vain. There are lots of other examples of what I mean when we what we worship, we become. We want to worship God so we can become like him. We have the perfect example in Christ. So talking about Christ, sharing about him, talking with excitement, getting excited about 
who he is, what he did, what we're learning about him. That is how we can worship God. So when we go to work, how is it that we can worship God? We can kind of talk about God and Jesus and how he impacts our life. Not shrink back from sharing when people say, hey, great job, summer camp, way to go. You know what? I just got to give glory to God. He's the one that grants the increase. That's praising, sharing, getting excited about, worshiping him. When we do that, we become more like him. This is a mindfulness opportunity. Emotional intelligence. Be mindful of what it is that encompasses our routine of praise, our routine of what we talk to others about, how we initiate conversation. And let's put God into those conversations. No, I'm not talking about being unrelatable and let's start thumping people on the head with the Bible. But we can talk about profound life insights that we've learned from God's word, praising it, glorifying it, without really mentioning that it's always about God. This is a way of worshiping him. We are in a constant state of becoming. That's human beings. Every choice we make, we become a little bit more like the choice we make. Let's choose to praise, talk about, share with others, get excited about God in the workplace, and we'll become more like him at work. I personally believe this is what the global marketplace can use. Some fruits of the spirit. There's way too much greed, self-interest. It's incredibly destructive. If that's what we talk about all the time, we will become that. Let's focus on worshiping God in the workplace and watch what our career does as a result. It's going to glorify God, but it's also going to set us up to be in heaven with him someday because we're becoming like him, like his son. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for two new videos each week. Tell me in the comments below about your career situation and I'll make a video for you with a shout out. You can also become a member at motivationear.com. Your career is not just a way to make a living, it's a way to transform the world.